What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play All of Me by John Legend on the good old uke. <laughs> As always, with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords or the strumming for the song if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, I totally understand, but if you watch the entire thing, I love you forever. Also, what I do want to note is that we will be putting a few extra things on Patreon if you do want to become a member and support this channel. Link will be in the description below, it will be top of the description, or you can just go to this website right here and it'll take you to my Patreon page. Again, that is totally up to you if you want to support this channel. Again, link will be in the description and all my socials and everything will be in the description below. Also talking about the description, make sure to open it because that has the full chord sheet in, for this song, which basically consists of the lyrics and chords. The chord is right above the word, so you know exactly when to change chords. That will be in the description below. You can copy and paste it, keep it for yourself. That is my gift to you. But with all that said and done, let's go ahead and learn these chords. All right, so before we learn the chords that we need for this song, if you're like, Ricky, I know all the chords, let's move on to the strumming. Again, I got you. Just go to the timestamp to whatever it says for strumming, and you can skip ahead to that section. But if you're like, Ricky, I just started playing a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago, I don't know where to put my fingers on the uke for each chord. Please help me. I love this song, but I don't know how to play uke just yet. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on where to put our fingers on the uke for each chord, and then we'll talk about strumming. So with that all said and done, let's go ahead and learn these chords. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will have a visual representation of where I need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like that just helps a lot when you can visually see and then have me talk you through it. So with that being said, let's go for the first chord, which is an A minor chord. And how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, which again is the top string, fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the bottom string which is the first string. So it's first string, third fret and it should sound like this. Awesome. The next chord that we need is the D chord and how I like to play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna go over the fourth and third string on the second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and go on the second string, second fret, and it should sound like this. You can also play this chord the more traditional way, which is going to be, you're gonna take your pointer finger and place your pointer finger on the fourth string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the third string, second fret. And finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, second fret and it should sound exactly the same. So again, you can definitely play this chord two different ways. The first way, which is how I usually play it, or the second way, which is the more traditional way of playing the D chord. But again, just make sure what feels right for you and what actually brings out the most crisp and clear chord. The next chord is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. So how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the third string, fourth fret. And it should sound like this. And last but not least, we need the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and place it on the third string, second fret. And then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. And finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And it should sound like this. Awesome. So those are all the chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on, and then once you have the chord sounding crisp and clear, 
press play and now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you two different ways you can play this song. The first way is going to be for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, I don't even wanna deal with the strumming pattern. I'm just getting through changing chords and transitioning between chords. Please don't add a difficult strum pattern. I totally got you. The first way that we're gonna play this song is just with a down strum. Also, don't forget that the entire chord sheet for the song will be in the description below, so make sure to open that and you can copy and paste it and keep it for yourself. Again, the chord sheet is the lyrics and chords and the chords are right above the word, so you know exactly when to change chords. So whenever you do see a chord change, just strum down. So when you kind of do that strumming pattern and you can do the first verse, it'll be like, What would I do without your smile now? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. And then just keep on going with that down strum and it'll sound just as awesome. So that is the first way you can do it, just with a down strum. So the second way that we can play this song is with an actual strumming pattern and that strumming pattern is going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time. I have the E minor chord down and we're gonna do that strumming pattern in three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're gonna do that strumming pattern once for every chord. So whenever you see a chord change, just start again with that strumming pattern. Uh, if you do wanna add a little bit more spice into the mix, um, you can do a chuck with it as well. So that strumming pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, up, so you're just gonna add a chuck. So I'll add it on the screen what the chucks would look like. The X's are the chucks. So it would be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, what the chuck is going to be, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So it's basically the first strumming pattern, just adding the chuck. And again, both strumming patterns you'll see on screen and the X's, that means that that is a chuck. So again, the first strumming pattern is going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up. Or with the chucking, you can go down, chuck, up, up, chuck. All right, so we talked about the chords and the couple different ways that you can play this song. Congratulations, you now know how to play All of Me by John Legend on the good old uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. Also, I do wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to you for clicking on this video and watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for these 10, 15 minutes. It, honestly, it means so much to me that you're here and I can't thank you enough for being here and just hanging out with me and learning this John Legend song, which is an absolute beast of a song. I absolutely love it. Also, if you're anything like me when you watch any ukulele video or just any video in general, you're like, what? uke are they playing? What are they doing? What's that in the corner? Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about this uke right here, which is a kumu ukulele. This is a beautiful Hawaiian uke, and this is a tenor size, and just look at the detail on this. It's absolutely amazing. If you do wanna get this, this is a thin body uke, and look at that shine on that. Dang, look at that. If you're interested to learn more about this Kumu ukulele or the other ukes that they do have on their website, they also have the Leolani series. I'll leave a link in the description below or you can just go to leolaniukulele.com and you can browse all their ukes. It's an amazing Hawaiian company and because the team is so amazing, they wanna give you a promo code to save some money and honestly, who doesn't love to save some money? So if you use the code RICKY10 at checkout, you will save $10 on your entire purchase. Again, use RICKY10, that'll save you $10 at checkout. So thank you so much to the team over at Leolani Kumu for giving us that code and for making such beautiful ukes. Also, another really cool thing is that we do have merch for this channel. So if you want to go get some, link will be in the description below. We do have the official Uke Fam merch, which is our YouTube logo. And recently we just launched the Potato Squad merch, which is an absolutely fun design. It's a potato playing a uke wearing our merch. So it's absolutely amazing. A link will be in the description below for both of those collections. If you do get some merch and you have Instagram and you want to share it with the entire Uke Fam, make sure to tag me on Instagram. It's just 
at Ricky Somborn. We've reached over 56,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to join if you haven't already. And again, if you do get some merch or you just learn a song from this YouTube channel and you play it, make sure to tag me in the post or story and I would love to reshare and share it out to all 56,000 Instagram family members. Uh, yeah, that'd be really awesome. Uh, and also make sure to leave a comment below letting me know what other songs you want to see on this channel. Also, if you have more questions or whatever, you can leave them in the, in the comments below or again, just send me a, a DM on Instagram if you're like, Ricky, should I get this you? I have a question about this song, whatever, please do this song. Make sure to send me a DM or just write it down in the comments. I am most active in the comments and on Instagram and also on Patreon. Again, that'll be in the description below if you do want to support this channel. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for these 10, 15 minutes. I truly, truly can't thank you enough. We've grown so much in this past year and I'm so excited for what the next year is gonna be. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later in the next video. Bye. Thank you.